The LGBT movement, this is the, uh, the gay pride parade in Cardiff, which has just seen uh, a number of lesbians kicked out. Now, uh, Roger, I actually spoke to one of the lesbians who was kicked out of this parade oh, on you? my show earlier today. What do you make? Would you want to just explain what's happened here first? Well, <sighs> of course I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. Um, the police uh, were compelled or felt obliged to remove lesbians from the gay pride parade in Cardiff um, because they were um, causing aggro uh, with uh, because of their gender critical stance. Right. Um, it's a specific group of lesbians, and they were told, "Whatever you are, you're causing confrontation with trans groups and their supporters." And it's not surprising, really, that, that lesbian communities, which are part of the real world, um, have strong feelings about this. Yeah. Um, I've always What's... been slightly baffled why lesbians apparently are assumed to be in league with the transgender lobby, because mm. for all sorts of reasons, I can imagine that they might not be. So, well, they, were, they, were, they had various banners, and uh, the lesbians were protesting... Uh, well, one of the banners said, lesbians don't like penises. And there has yeah. been a lot of coercion and pressure on lesbians... Uh, to include biological males who identify as female mm. in their dating pool. I mean, even if you go on sort of those lesbian-only dating apps, there's now a lot of men who identify as women in those apps. And, yeah. and, and, and lesbians are increasingly yeah. feeling at under attack. I, I, I would feel very uncomfortable about that. If you just imagine yourself in the position of a, of a, of a, of a, of a lesbian... Using one of those apps, I'd feel very, very in, uncomfortable about that person. It's very interesting, Sajida, because earlier, you know, I spoke to one of the women who was involved and, and she was saying right. they weren't blocking... Uh, the, 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 they'd arranged that they would be able to walk in front of the march with them because it's a protest. Pride yeah, is a protest, is. right? Everyone's well, should be, the whole point is everyone's welcome. Right. And then the police are saying, well, they were trying to block the parade, but it doesn't look like that was the case. No. And actually, well, and the aggro, if there was aggro, was coming from the activists mm -hmm, screaming mm -hmm. and shouting at and them. And yet they weren't stopped. And I find that really odd. That they well, I don't care who I don't care who you are, don't we, you know? But it, you're right now, you're causing the aggro. No, are they? Are they really? Is it that you don't? You're too scared yeah. to actually confront the activists. That I mean, you know, and this is the problem we've got. It's like you, it's you know, kind of bowing down to to them. And I, you know, they've got the whole movement because I saw it um, trending on on Twitter, like uh, remove the L. Yeah, from, get the yeah, L out. Yeah, get yeah. the L, get the L out. And I was thinking, well, what, that leaves it with GBT. Well, they're news? specifically what saying was... that le lesbians have specific problems insofar as they face homophobia, but they also face sexism in society. Mm -hmm. And there is this this kind of sense, of, and there can be sort of very dangerous repercussions if you have got a, I don't know, a, a domestic violence refuge centre, a single sex space, yeah, yeah, and and you're starting to prioritise gender identity, how someone sees themselves over the biological reality of male and female. It matters. For people in vulnerable it positions, it matters yes, because absolutely. it could be there could be rape victims. There could be like you know someone who's who's had domestic violence, and yeah. then to, to be faced with. And at the moment, unfortunately, what we have is you can self-identify. Mm -hmm. So you can today announce, you know, exactly as you are, that I've decided I'm a woman, and walk today. into any formally safe yeah. space. Yeah. And then how is that going to make? Someone who's vulnerable, feel it, you know, a, a woman-only space. Absolutely, you can, because that's the but, problem I have with that. Not that you know, obviously, trans should have rights. So, you know, that's well, absolutely right. But these women aren't saying that trans people shouldn't be able to live as they like to live. No. I mean, I actually asked that question specifically yeah. earlier hmm. uh, from Angela Wilde, who was one of the, the lesbian protesters there, and she was saying, no, they can, do, but we shouldn't have to be forced to agree with their yes, I, ideological yeah. perspective. And that's their right. And also, within gay, gay pride, is a big history of of, of a protest and and getting your, raising awareness of your issue. And this idea that lesbians get kicked out of a gay pride parade because for expressing their lesbianism, for saying lesbians don't like penises, and they're called transphobes and they're called hateful bigots for simply asserting their same-sex attraction. That seems, well, frankly, it seems a bit homophobic yep. to me. It is and, and isn't it weird, the gay pride becoming a forum for homophobia, and homophobia enforced by the police? That's right. This is the terrifying thing, of course. The police didn't have the confidence or didn't have the clear-sightedness yeah. to police the situation in a rational way. That's because way. they hadn't had their diversity training. Oh, I that's see. And that's was. where you come in again. <laughs> I, will, I will do that for you, police people, for £60,000 <laughs> a year.